Okay. The next question says, Visoro is one of more than 100 perfectly competitive firms the market it operates. In the following is the market demand curve in the firm's individual demand curve. The main curve that Vesoro faces is identical to which of its other curves check all that apply. And so on the left-hand side, we have a market demand curve given by supply and demand curves, uh, you know, have an equilibrium price, equilibrium quantity. And then because this is a uh, price taker, perfectly competitive firm, on the right-hand side, we have Vesoro's demand curve, which is a flat horizontal line at the equilibrium price level. And so that would be perfectly elastic demand. And so, um, the question now is, is so it, what does this flat line also represent? So the first thing that we can consider is marginal revenue curve. And this is going to be true, right? And in this case, because this is a perfectly comp competitive market, the price is equal to the marginal revenue of, of every good. Uh, if, I, if a firm were to sell an additional unit of a good, their marginal revenue would be equal to the price that the consumer paid for that good. And that doesn't change no matter what. And so that perfectly competitive uh, mar marginal revenue curve is going to be equal to a demand curve for this market. Um, mar two says marginal cost curve, and um, we're not given any information about costs for this particular uh, firm, and so we cannot say whether or not it is identical to the uh, to the demand curve. And most of the times, it is not. Same goes for the supply curve. We're not given any information about the supply curve for this particular firm. And so we cannot say anything about whether or not uh, it's going to be identical to the other curves. And finally, four says average revenue curve. And the average revenue curve is simply uh, a uh, average of total revenue divided by quantity sold. And so looking at the fact that marginal revenue curve is going to be flat at price level, then average revenue curve is obviously going to be equal to the marginal revenue curve and demand curve as well, in that if you take the total revenue you've created, you've, you've sold, and divided by the quantity you've sold, you simply have the marginal, average marginal revenue that you sold each good for, which is constant in this case. And so one and four are going to be the two that we check to be uh, identical to this demand curve. Let's take a look at the previous answer, and the previous answer says also one and four, which is good. And the previous tutor said a perfectly competitive firm consists of a large number of small firms that sell identical products in the market which can be perfectly substituted for each other. There are absolutely no barriers to entry and exit in such a market, along with perfect mobility within the market space. All these attributes collectively strip away a firm from its bargaining power. It becomes a price taker in the market as an attempt to set a unique price that compels consumers to switch to a firm's competitor. Uh, Hence, a perfectly competitive firm's individual demand curve becomes perfectly elastic with a horizontal slope. It is identical to a marginal revenue and average revenue curve of the firm as both the average revenue and marginal revenue are essentially the price of the good. Um, yeah, that's good. I was just confused a little bit by this phrasing. Um, but yes, but what they're basically trying to say here is that you're a price taker because if you were to try or an attempt to set a unique price, then people would just stop buying from you. So yeah, this is a good answer and nothing really needs to be clarified here.